especially after that second explosion, that's when we kind of were really unsure about what else could happen. A San Diego woman caught in the chaos in Brussels is talking only to 10 News reporter Bree Steffen about how she got to safety with the city shut down. It was incredible, Bree. That's right, it really was. Kelly Garrett left here from San Diego for a trip around the world, but today she found herself fighting to find somewhere safe. It's just a feeling I can't describe. It's something that you don't think you're going to feel. You think you're exempt from it and something that you only see on the news until you're there. You're in Brussels. A trip of a lifetime turns into a scramble for safety. The airport had um, had two explosions. Kelly Garrett was visiting Brussels from San Diego <laughs> when everything changed. Especially after that second explosion, that's when we kind of were really unsure about what else could happen. She spent the day hunkered down in a hostel in Molenbeek. The same neighborhood police arrested the most wanted man in Europe. They believe he helped plan the Paris attacks and had a hand in the Brussels bombing. Yeah, the guy was arrested just right down the street for me the night that I got there. So I'm just like definitely left a bad taste in my mouth. The attack left the city gridlocked. That morning, I was supposed to get on the metro and go to the train, and I decided to sleep in. Friends from the Netherlands finally drove down to get her out of Brussels. <laughs> Tonight, she's safe and thankful. I still will have good memories of Brussels. I'm going to keep those good memories. I don't want this to mar the memories and let them win. I'm not going to let it happen. I know angels were watching over me for sure. And Kelly says that she's still going to finish her trip and she should get back to San Diego sometime in July. Bree Steffen, 10 News. A great attitude. Thanks, Bree.